Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Tips and Tricks Tuesdays. Today we're learning how to get the new swords in the Destiny Taken King. So first off we need to get the quest for the sword. How we do this is by first completing the Taken King main story campaign. By doing this you will kill Oryx and he will drop his sword Willbreaker. Eris will then dismantle it and take the soul crystal from it which she will then give back to you once you reach rank 40. Then you're able to take it to the Crucible Handler, Lord Shax, and you can find him right here, and he will give you the new sword quest. The first thing to do in the quest is to get 25 Hadean Flakes from the Dreadnought Patrol. How you get these Hadean Flakes is by opening up Tress on the Dreadnought, which will give you a Hadean Flake each. Farming Hadean Flakes can be a long and arduous process, but one of the best methods for farming these Hadean Flakes is by first going down to this particular area of the Dreadnought Patrol. In order to get there, all you have to do is go down the right side and follow the path until you come across this big opening area here. Now, before you start farming here, if you're a hunter, the best class to equip is a Night Stalker, and make sure you have the perk Keen Scout. This will really, really quicken up just getting all those Hadean Flakes. It makes it nice and easy because you're able to see the chests on your minimap. So if you have the ability to put this on, do it. It will save a lot of time. Now that you are here, there is a simple way to farm the chest, and it is to turn to the right and hug the outskirts of the area, where there will be three openings into rooms all in a row that have a chance to spawn the chest in it. The first room is just here, and when you walk in, has a chance to spawn the chest in two places. Right here. and also just over here. The chest in the second room will just be in this big doorway here and down this little crack here. Now, there's also another chest in this room. If you just jump up here, that's the chest of maggots and you need the key to open it. So don't worry about it if you don't have the key. The chest in the third room is just found in this little small area here. Finally, the last place, and this one is an optional one, is by jumping up onto this area up here. I found the easiest way to do this is by equipping the triple jump and climbing onto this rock and making my way up. Now this chest is a normal chest that will still give you a Hadean Flake so don't worry about that. And again like all the other chests it has a random chance of spawning so you never know what you're going to get. But also just over here there is a door that you can't access unless again you have the required key. So if you don't have it just ignore it. So just continue running this loop and I want to stress that the chests aren't going to be there all the time and you're going to get an average of, you know, two per se every run around and only in about half an hour it should take you, you'll have your 25 Hadean Flakes all ready for the next step. Once you have gotten all your Hadean Flakes, just take a trip back to Shax and he will give you the option to craft an Arc, Solar or Void Sword. Depending on which sword you choose, you'll need either 25 Spin Metal for the Arc Sword, 25 Helium Filaments for the Solar Sword, and 25 Relic Iron for the Void Sword. Don't forget, you can only get one sword per character, so definitely choose wisely. So I hope you guys are happy with your brand new fancy dancy sword, and I just want to thank you all for watching, I hope you've enjoyed, and I can't wait to see you again on my next Tips and Tricks Tuesdays.